Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, I want to wish you guys a very happy new year. I hope you guys are having a wonderful time spending the holiday season with friends and family. And given that it is a new year, I thought that I could give you guys a couple of suggestions as to New Year's resolution. I absolutely love this time of the year. It's a great time to really think about the future, think about the year ahead, plan and set some new goals. I really hope that this video will inspire you guys and maybe give you a couple of ideas that you might not have thought about before. Without further ado, let's get started. So the first resolution that I have for you guys is to wake up earlier. So morning is definitely when we are the most productive and waking up earlier definitely gives us a little bit more time in the morning to do everything that we need to do. Eat a healthy breakfast, work out, clean a little bit around the house, meditate. And it has been shown also that waking up earlier actually gives you more energy throughout the day. Waking up earlier is definitely a great resolution to have for 2018. So the second resolution idea that I have for you guys is to meditate. It has been shown that meditating really does improve emotional, physical, and mental health. And it also really diminishes stress and improves concentration. So there's many different ways that you can meditate. Obviously, you can just sit in silence and process your thoughts, but they even invented different kinds of apps that can help you meditate. And one of them is called Headspace. I personally don't use it, but I know a lot of people who do, but there are definitely many different kinds of apps that you can use. Just do a little bit of research and you will be able to find one that you really like. The third resolution idea that I have for you guys is to invest. By investing, I don't just mean saving. I mean investing in either stock mutual funds or in real estate. It's definitely really important to invest because over time, your money can definitely grow a lot. And especially if you're young, you have time on your side. There's a common misconception that you need a lot of money to invest, but that's definitely not the case. For real estate, you obviously need a little bit more, but in order to invest in mutual funds, a very small amount is actually needed. So do some research and make sure that you start investing this year. Keep in mind that not investing is actually costing you your financial future. There's actually a great book that I recommend for all of you guys who wish to start investing this year, and that is The Automatic Millionaire written by David Bach. It is a great book for beginner investors, and I definitely recommend it if you want more information. So the fourth resolution that you guys can take on this year is to be more physically active. And by physically active, I don't necessarily mean going to the gym, although going to the gym is definitely also a great idea. What I mean is more taking walks, taking the stairs, anything small that you can do to really improve your physical health and to not be sitting down all the time is a great option. And it's also really important not just to focus on looks. A lot of people for their New Year's resolution want to lose 10 pounds or look skinnier, but it's actually not about the looks. It's more about how you feel in your body. And I think that if you have that kind of mentality concerning weight loss and that kind of mentality concerning your physical health, there's no way that you can't succeed. And the fifth resolution I have for you guys today is to undertake a creative project. So whether that's YouTube, starting a new blog, writing a book, or starting a business, those are definitely great options to be able to set some new goals for the upcoming year. I truly believe that we're all creative beings and that it's really important to cultivate creativity on a daily basis. The sixth resolution I want to talk to you guys about today is reading more books. And the types of books I'm talking more about here are self-growth books and motivational books. By reading more motivational books, you are truly making an effort to grow as a person and bring success into your life. Any kinds of books on finances, law of attraction, psychology, business, real estate, those are really the kinds of books that I'm talking about. Find a topic that interests you and explore a little bit and you'll see you're definitely going to learn a lot of new things this year. The seventh resolution that I have for you guys is to learn to cook five new dishes perfectly. I will admit that I am definitely not the most skilled cook, but I also think that cooking is a developed skill. So by learning to cook five new dishes, you'll be able to impress friends and family next time that you go to a dinner party or that you have people over. And you'll also have go-to meals that you can quickly prepare when time is tight. And don't forget that your taste buds will thank you. <laughs> 
The eighth resolution that I have for you guys is to practice gratitude daily. So what exactly are you thankful for? By practicing gratitude, you're able to kind of shift your mindset from thinking about all of the negative things in your life to things that are positive. So when you're thankful for something and you appreciate what you have around you, that's when you can really bring positive energy and positive vibes into your life. Practicing gratitude is definitely something that I do and I like to journal while I do it. So I'll write down the different things that I'm grateful for in a journal that I have by my bedside. And it definitely keeps my mind focused on the important things in life and on the things that I appreciate. The ninth resolution that I have for you guys is to travel more. We all dream of luxurious travel and faraway destinations, but traveling really doesn't have to be that far. Maybe you can just get into your car and drive to the next town or to the next province or to the next state, and you'll definitely be able to discover tons of new places there and meet tons of great people as well. Traveling is definitely an education in itself, so making that a resolution for 2018 is definitely a good way to go. And the tenth and final resolution that I have for you guys is to learn a new language. I'm very fortunate to speak multiple languages and I cannot tell you enough how many times knowing another language has been a huge asset. On top of that, learning a new language also keeps your mind sharp, active, and challenged. So those were the 10 resolutions that I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope that you found some great inspiration as to what you would like to do for this upcoming year. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. If you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe below because I would absolutely love to have you along. All of my social media links will be linked down in the description box. So thank you very much for watching. And once again, I wish you guys a very happy new year.